Welcome to Real Food. Today I'm going to cook um, a very unusual pudding. Well, I guess it's not that unusual, but I'm going to use... Um, um, it's, I guess it's going to be similar to rice pudding, but instead of rice, I'm going to use a barley. Um, and I'm going to use pearl barley. And that's the unusual bit. And I'm also going to use topping of rhubarb, uh, ginger and lemon. Interestingly, pearl barley, um, or, or barley itself, um, has been um, around for, for a very long time. Um, and it has been eaten by humanity, but again, by, by hundreds, if not thousands of years. But it's, it's kind of, fe it fell out of fashion um, um, in the recent times. And I guess this is simply because... Um, because it it takes a little longer to cook, but other than that, it's a it's a beautiful grain. Um, here I'm showing you what what I've done here. Um, um, I've already uh, cooked uh, my pavalis here. So for this pudding, um, I've um, I've used um, I've used fifty grams of pavali, and what I'm I'm going to tell you is that it does expand substantially. And uh, some recipes they suggest um, you use proportions one to six. Um, but in my case, because it's a small quantity, I used um, a proportion of one to four. Um, but I guess you can experiment, and um, and it also depends maybe on hardness of water, and on the time of on on the type of barley that you're using, because barley can come um, polished, and this is called pearl barley. They're like little pearls, as you can see them there. Um, this is similar to polished rice, so it takes less time to cook. And and you don't need to um, you don't really need to soak it. Other types of barley, when they've got complete skins and shells um, around them, they will take substantially longer times to cook, and they would need to be soaked for a really long time, something like five to eight hours or overnight. So, in this recipe, I used um, I used polished barley. So and what I did: fifty grams of um, dry barley. I used 200 milliliters of water. I added some sugar um, and salt, and a little bit and vanilla and peppers, and I cooked it on slow heat um, for about 30 minutes. And this is where it got to. Um, if I leave it, there is a there is still some some water left in the pot. So if I leave it longer, a barley will probably absorb absorb it all. But I want to um, to keep it al dente. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this remaining liquid um, to prepare my compote from um, from rhubarb, ginger and lemon. And this compote will then go on top. So I think that's a very good use of, of barley. Um, I'm not going to waste um, the remaining water, but I'm going to use it. <clears throat> and you know what? I did add sugar. I, I added 50 grams of sugar. But depending on how sweet you want your, your pudding, you you probably can get away with not adding any sugar at all, um, because if you add sugar in your compote, your compote will be sweet, and um, you can just add a bit of salt or, or, and maybe more spices. Uh, depends on how spicy or how sweet or sour or, or whatever else. Because another thing I found with barley is that it is absorbing all of the flavors as well. It's a very beautiful grain to cook with, because whatever flavor you want to give it, it will absorb it. For example, you can cook it in chicken stock or vegetable stock, and it will actually absorb all of the all of the flavors, and it will be very enjoyable um, um, a dish to eat later on. So, but hey, here we are. So I cooked it for about thirty minutes. I think it's al dente at the moment. It's it's just slightly undercooked. But I'm going to extract my barley out of here, and I'm going to cook my compote with peppers and vanillas um, um, in this liquid. And I might need to add a little more. So um, here we are. So I'll show you. This is my um, barley. Um, I separated it from from the um, from the juice from the remaining water. It looks uh, very good. And um, after adding uh, fifty grams of sugar to fifty grams of dry barley, it does taste sweet, but it's not too sweet. And this is my compote. So I've cut my rhubarb and I've cut my small piece of ginger into tiny, well, small cubes. And I'm going to cook it in the remaining juice from from my barley. So once it's, um, once I tenderize my uh, my um, rhubarb, um, I'm going to then 
add a bit of compote and this is my pudding. So, and I guess I'm going to have a little more compote than barley, but then I can keep the compote in the fridge and cook more fresh barley later and, and consume it all together. So I hope you liked um, this recipe. I will, um, I, will, I will list all the ingredients and recipe at the bottom um, below this video. And do share your own interesting stories about interesting foods you've discovered. I hope you enjoy your day and let me wish you bon appetit. And we'll chat again soon.